In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to transfer Google Drive files from one Google account to another Google account. So if you have a file in Google Drive on account one, and you want to transfer it over to account two so that it will only be on account two, and it will no longer be on account one, this is how it's done. Timmy also has a different video about sharing files in Google Drive, but that's quite different. When you share a file, you are still the owner of the file, and it's still stored on your account, but the other person just has access to it. But when you transfer a file, you can actually completely remove the file from your account so that it's no longer taking up storage space in your Google Drive quota, and you can't access it at all. But the person who you transferred it to has full ownership of it and it will take up space in their account. And just before we begin, Timmy's going to be talking about transferring files to Bob in this video. Bob is just an example to try and make it clear which account you should be using for each step. So you'll obviously want to swap Bob for whoever you're transferring the file to. And if you have two Google accounts that are both yours, and you want to transfer files from one account to the other account, that's fine too. It'll work just the same way. Bob was just an example to try and make it clear. But with that out of the way, let's say you're in Google Drive, and you have this video file here in Google Drive, and it's in your Google Drive, and you want to transfer it over to Bob's Google Drive. The first thing you'll need to do is actually share the file with Bob, if you haven't already. If you already shared it with Bob in the past, you can just skip this step and move on to the next step. But if you haven't shared the file with Bob, you just need to click on the three dots next to the file and come up to share and hover over that, and then come across and click share here. And now it will pull up the sharing window, and you'll just need to type in Bob's Google account email address in here and He's popped up, so we can click on him here. And there's all these different options for sharing, but because this is just the first step and we're really going to transfer it, you really don't need to worry about any of these options. There's probably no point in a message because you've probably already discussed this, and you may as well leave it to editor because in a minute Bob will be the owner. So we'll just go ahead and click send. And now the file will be shared with Bob. So that's step one, and now Bob can already access the file, but he's still not the owner of it. So to make Bob the owner of the file, now that you've shared it with him, you'll need to click on the three dots next to the file or in the top right-hand corner of the file again, and you'll actually need to pull up the sharing window again. So we'll go up and hover over share and click share here, and now, in this sharing window, we'll see we now have two people with access, Tech Time with Timmy, which is you, which is the owner, and Bob, who is the editor. And now, to change it so that Bob becomes the owner, you just need to click on this drop-down arrow here, and then in this menu, click Transfer Ownership. And you can't actually do this when you're sharing it with Bob in the first place, you have to share it with him first and then come back in here and change it. It's not like changing it to a viewer or something. So that's why we had to share it first. But anyway, now it will pop up with this warning message asking if you want to send Bob an invitation to own the file. Because you do want to be a bit careful because once you've sent Bob this invitation, he can accept the invitation and then there's really nothing you can do to undo it. Bob will now own the file, and he could kick you off it, he could change it, he could do anything he wants to do with it. But as long as you're happy to fully transfer the file over to Bob, you can go ahead and click Send Invitation here. And now Bob will get an email from Google Drive inviting him to own this file. And if he's viewing the email in Gmail, he'll have an Accept button here that he can just click and immediately accept ownership of the file. Or if he's using a different email app, there'll be a respond button, which you can click, and that'll 
open up Google Drive in a browser and allow him to accept the file. But if he is viewing it in Gmail, he can simply click the Accept button here. And now he will become the owner of the file. So now the file will be taking up space on Bob's Google account, not yours. And if Bob looks in his My Drive section in Google Drive, he will now find the file somewhere here inside his Google Drive because he is the owner of it. And once he has accepted the file, you can come back into your Google Drive and click Done to close this pop-up. And now you should still see the file in your drive, but it will have this little arrow icon on it. And that means the file isn't actually in here. It's just a shortcut to the file because what's happened is now Bob is the owner of the file, but he has effectively shared the file with you still. And now it's created this shortcut so that you can easily access the file that Bob has shared with you. So you, as long as Bob doesn't remove you and you don't remove yourself, you can still click on this shortcut and you can access the file and you can actually still do pretty much whatever you want with it. But if you don't want to see this file in here anymore, you can just click the delete button to delete the shortcut. Now the shortcut's gone, so you won't see it. And if you now come and click on shared with me to view all of the files that have been shared with you, this file is actually in your shared with me folder now because Bob has shared it with you. So you can see it in here. It's not taking up space on your account. You can just see it in here and you can still access it if you want to. Or if you no longer want it and you don't want to see it in here at all, you can actually come in here and click on it and click the delete button. Don't worry, it's not actually going to delete the file. It's just effectively unshared it with you and removed it from your shared with me folder. Bob still has the file safely in his account. And now that Bob is the owner of the file, if he wanted to, he could actually come into his Google Drive and click on the three dots, hover over share and click share. And he could actually come in here and remove you if he wanted to. So he could click remove access and then save. And then you would no longer have access to the file at all because Bob's the owner, so he can remove you. So that's all there is to transferring ownership of one file. But if you have a lot of files to transfer, you can actually do it in bulk. All you need to do is select all the files you want to transfer in any way you like. You could hold down the control key on a Windows computer or a Chromebook or the command key on a Mac, and then just simply click any file that you want to select to transfer. And they'll all be highlighted and selected like that. And you'll see up the top here, you have four selected. And then when you're done selecting the files, you can just let go of the control or command key and all of those files will be selected. Or if you want to select a big batch of files, you could click on one, hold down the shift key and click on another one. And then those two files and all the files in between will all be selected. Or you could click and drag. So you can click and drag in a gap in between the files and drag across any files you want to select. So you could select a whole bunch like that if you want to. But for this example, we might just hold down control and choose that file and that file and that file and that file. So we've got these four files. And then it's basically the same as transferring an individual file. First thing you'll do is just click the share button up here where it says four selected. So this will allow us to share all four or all of however many you've selected at the same time. So we'll share all four of these files with Bob and we'll click send there and we'll just wait for that to share. And now that's done. And the files are still selected. They've moved up to the top of the screen, but they're still selected. So you don't have to select them again. You can now just 
click the share button again, and then click on editor, and click transfer ownership, and send invitation. And now it will send Bob an invitation to accept all of these files. But the email Bob receives will be a bit different to the email Bob receives when you share one file. Bob will get this email that says invitation to own four items, and that will seem pretty similar, except it lists out all the files. But unlike sharing a single file, even in Gmail, it doesn't have a button to accept. Bob will have to click the respond button here to open it in a new tab. And now this bit actually gets a little bit weird. Bob will have to select all of these files to accept ownership of all of them. So Bob can pretty much select all of these files in any way he wants. He could click and drag to highlight them all like that. He could hold down the control or command key and then click on each file. Or he could click on one file, hold shift, click on another file, and all of them would be selected. Or what would probably be quite a good option is he could use a keyboard shortcut control or command A, and then that would select all of the files. So control on a Windows computer or a Chromebook, and then the letter A, or the command key and the letter A on a Mac will do the same thing. And then all of these files will be selected for him. So now, once all the files are selected, Bob will actually have to come up and click on share, which will seem a bit weird. But then he'll have you as the owner and him as a pending owner. So he'll just need to click the accept ownership button here and it will warn him that all of these files will take up extra space on his Google Drive account. But as long as he's okay with that, he can click accept here. And now he'll be the owner of all of these files. And it's just like when you transferred one file. So Bob can click done and he can go over to my drive and all of those files that we just transferred across will now be in Bob's Google Drive here. And if you go into your Google Drive and you click done after Bob has accepted ownership, you will have the little icon on each of these files showing that they are now just shortcuts. And you can go ahead and delete these files if you want to, because you don't need them. They're actually just shortcuts. And if you come over to shared with me, all of these files will be showing in here as they're shared with you. And now you could delete them from here or you could leave them there or Bob could unshare them with you or he could leave them shared with you if he wanted to. And that's pretty much all there is to transferring multiple files. But the only complication is files inside folders. You can select folders and transfer folders if you want to. So Maybe you would select these two folders or just one folder or all your folders if you wanted to. You can select some folders and then it's basically the same process. You'll click share and you'll share the two folders with Bob and then you'll click send. And now both the folders will be shared with Bob. And now you come back and click the share button again and click the drop down and choose transfer ownership and click send invitation. And now Bob will get an email with an invitation to accept ownership of the two folders. So he'll just have to click respond, select the folders, click share, accept ownership and accept it. So now Bob is the owner of the two folders, but he's actually not the owner of all the files inside the folders. He can see the files, if he double clicks on a folder, he can go inside it and see all of them because they're all shared with him from your account, but he's not actually the owner of it. So when you transfer a folder like this, after you finish transferring the folder, you will need to go inside each folder you've transferred and make sure you transfer all of the files that are inside the folder. So if we come back in here, 
and click done to get out of that window. And the two folders will be inside shared with me now because Bob owns the folders. But if we go inside this folder, you actually own all of these files. So you want to select all of these files in here. The easiest way to do that is probably to hold down the control key on a Windows computer or a Chromebook, or hold down the command key on a Mac and press the letter A. And then it will automatically select all of them. Or if you want, you could just use a different method to select them all. And if you have a lot of files in the folder, you might want to scroll down and just make sure they're all selected because sometimes if it has to load more files at the bottom, it won't have selected those. But in this case, it selected all 16 of the files that are in this folder. So now it's just basically the same process with these files. But because you've transferred the folder to Bob, all of these files are actually already shared with Bob. So it goes a bit quicker. You just click the share button and it'll bring up this box here. And you'll see Bob is already an editor of these files. So all you need to do is change Bob to transfer ownership and click send invitation. And now Bob will get yet another email inviting him to accept ownership of all these files. And he'll need to click respond to open it up in here and then press command or control A or select all the files somehow and then click share and then click accept ownership and accept. So you'll just have to go through and do that to all of the files inside each folder that you've transferred. But once you've done that, it will all be done and it will have worked just like it did when you were transferring one file or a few files. So all of the files will still show up in your drive as shortcuts and they'll still be in your shared with me folder and all of the folders and the files inside them will be now be on Bob's My Drive folder because they're now on Bob's account. And that's finally all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. If you're just transferring one or two files, it's really quite simple. But if you start transferring a lot of files and lots of folders, it can get a bit more complicated. But Hopefully you're able to work it out and get it all done. But that's all there is to this video and Tamil will see you in the next one.